Hi everyone, I'm Matt Williams, the Access Fellow here at Jesus College at the University of Oxford. I've been invited by my lovely counterpart Joe at Brasenose College, just around the corner, to have a tour, so come and join me there. Hello, I'm Joe. I work at Brasenose College, Oxford, uh, which is the second best college in Oxford, <laughs> just behind Jesus College. That's right. Uh, and we thought you'd show, we'd show you around. Uh, so this bit is called the Old Quad, because it's the old bit, um, and we have you know, 500, 600 years of history here. Brazos is actually a bit older than that. It's 800 years old, kind of, but it's a bit lost in the midst of time, so no one really knows, but we're really old. Um, and we have student bedrooms and tutors' offices in this quad, uh, but we also have, I think, and I'm biased, the most amazing view in Oxford, which hopefully you can see. So we've got the beautiful you know, quad at Brazos. Then behind there is the Radcliffe camera. And that is part of the Bodleian Library, which is the central university library in Oxford. Uh, 13 million books, I don't know who counts those, but apparently there's 13 million books. Not just in that building, but lots of other buildings. But I think it's incredible, this beautiful domed classical building. Then over there, the spiky building is the university church, which is kind of in a way where the university started, but it's debatable. Um, and you can maybe just about see some tiny ant people crawling around up on the balcony because you can go, you can reach, you can go up there on a tiny spiral staircase and look down on this incredible city for, you know, a few pounds. Um, but that's very gothic, so we've got these two architectural gods looking down on us here at Brasenos. Um, let's go to the dining room. Right, so this is the dining room where our students tend to do some eating. Um, so we have breakfast, lunch, dinner and famously brunch at the weekends here. Uh, it's delicious food, it's locally sourced, we deal with lots of different dietary requirements and it's super cheap. And um, this is a, a hallmark of Oxbridge Colleges, so you can get a full English breakfast for one pound here at Brainstones, which we're pretty proud of. Um, but it does a bit look a bit like Hogwarts, doesn't it? We've got the wood panels, we've got the portraits. We're trying to diversify the portraits a little bit, so you can see You've got a lot of dusty old white men, but we have a two important women down the bottom there. Um, so we're trying to change that. Uh, you might be wondering why we call Brazenos, and there is a funny story about that. So here it is. A knocker, a door knocker. It's kind of in the wrong place, isn't it? But this knocker is 800 years old, we think, and is a leopard or a lion's face. Quite hard to tell, lion, leopard. Um, and it's made of brass or bronze. Um, and anyway, you knock on the nose to get in. And that's where we got the name Brass Nose, uh, changed to Braze Nose over time. And it was on the front door, front door of the college, but we lost it. We lost it in the 1330s. Um, and it turned up again, hundreds of years later, in the 1890s, in a house in Lincolnshire, um, on the front door of a house in Lincolnshire. But the people in that house would not give it us back. So we had to buy the entire house just to get the knocker. Um, and we brought the knocker back down. Apparently we knocked the house down, hopefully with nobody in it, uh, and brought the knocker back down to Oxford and decided to put it here in the dining room instead of in the front door in case someone nicked it again. So we're proud of our name and we love the quirky kind of origins of our college. So that's how, um, how we became Brasenos. Right, so this is our central quad, um, which is officially called the Chapel Quad, but literally everybody calls it the Deer Park, but nobody knows why. So some people think it's because a deer escaped into this space and ran around, so we decided it was the Deer Park. Um, another probably more plausible explanation is Maudlin College down the road. They have an actual deer park with deers running around in it. It's this huge, beautiful space, and we're just trying to compete with our little bit of grass here, but everybody calls it the Deer Park. Um, not long ago we were renovating and we found um, a well, an ancient well that we didn't know was there. Um, so hopefully that will be made into a pretty space at some point. This is the chapel here, which is very pretty, hopefully we'll go in there a bit. But I need to tell you a story about, um, about this, the library. Um, and we're going to go into the bottom bit of the library because there's something about dead bodies that I need to tell you about. Right, so we're now in the library, we've got three different areas of the library. Um, and also a separate law library, which is somewhere else in college. And they're open 24 hours a day, which I think is lovely. Um, and our students love it in these, in these different spaces. But I just thought I'd share a story with you. So we were renovating this space about five years ago. And I'm not sure if we really realized that underneath this room, there is what well, used to be where the burial 
it was the burial ground. It used to be kind of a bit more open, open air. And it's the burial ground uh, for the old uh, fellows, fellows or tutors. So the tutors that worked here were buried here. And there's about 50 of them down below here. And when, um, when we were renovating the space, we had to check if they were okay. And we thought they might be buried standing up because in cities, sometimes they bury people standing up um, to save space, but they're not. They're lying down, so they're very comfortable. So our students who work in here, normally there's chairs and tables and um, lights and laptops and things dotted around here. I don't know if our students really re realise, but there's, you know, there's people underneath them who are egging them on and hoping they're doing well with their essays. Welcome to the JTR. So this is the junior common room, so the student common room. Um, and it's just one of the spaces that the students use to chill out, to relax, to chat to people. They play a lot of this. This is Linky and lots of other games. They have a PS4 and a Wii and stuff like that. They have like a collection of films. And they have a pool table over there, uh, table tennis, um, lots of comfy sofas. So it's just a brilliant place to, to be. I don't know if you can see, but this is the high street of Oxford. So this is like a bustling city centre street with cafes and restaurants and pubs and stuff. And it's right outside. Uh, but the big thick stone walls of a typical Oxford college mean that it's still pretty quiet and serene inside, which we like. And um, probably the highlight for me of this room is the permanent exhibition that we have of brilliant Brazenose women. So women that came to Brazenose and studied and then went off to do incredible things. So we've got Kate Allen, who's chair of Amnesty International, for instance, and lots of other interesting people. And it's just a recognition, I think, of how Oxford has changed over the last few decades. So when I started at Brazenose back in 2009, we were about 38% state schools of the UK students, undergraduates. Now it's more like 80, 80%, 80 which we're really proud of. So we're, we're constantly kind of change, trying to increase diversity to make it more uh, representative of the country as a whole. And I think we're doing a pretty good job, but we need more people to apply uh, to continue on that mission. Just to finish, um, just a note about the thing I love most about Oxford Colleges and my college being Brazenose, um, it's the best one, in my opinion, and that's just because uh, it's such a tight sense of community, such a great uh, sense of family, really, uh, which sounds really cheesy, but it's true. But the, the cool thing is it just reinvents itself every year. So we have a new set of 100 freshers that turn up every year and they bring their own skills, their own ideas um, and their own kind of culture. And they make they change Brazenose every year into some somewhere different to what it was the year before. And then we have this other cast of characters who have graduated who are going off, hopefully influencing the world and changing the world and making it a better place, having benefited, I think, from the incredible experience that we have here. So yeah, I just love that kind of the character of Brazenose. It stays the same in some ways, but then it's always evolving and always changing. So yeah, we'd love you to apply and then you can be part of that too.